What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the best way to use Instagram ads to grow your business in 2024. I put together a simple roadmap that you can follow and start to implement as soon as possible and start seeing some success in your business using Instagram. So let's get straight into it. The first thing that we wanna do before we actually start launching ads on Instagram is understanding the importance of optimizing your profile. First things first, your bio should tell your visitors exactly who you are and what you do. You're going to see in a moment how we've turned our Instagram page into a funnel that gets leads to know, like, and trust us before they even speak to us on the phone. More on that in just a moment. But the, the first thing we'd like to do is make sure your, your profile is well optimized. When someone visits your profile for the first time, they need to know within a few seconds exactly who you are and what you do. You also want to have a clear headshot for your profile picture. After all, we're going to be using Instagram as your personal brand, right? This is where people are going to land on your page and they're going to remember what you look like, right? They're going to see your profile picture and that's going to leave a, a memory in their mind as well, right? A lot of people tend to follow hundreds of people on Instagram. If you have a clear, distinct face and profile picture, it's a lot easier for people to remember who you are. And then also we're gonna start leveraging story highlights as social proof. If you're not already doing this, it's super important. Um, but here's a good example of what my uh, what a, a good profile would look like. Clear headshot, clear distinction of what I do, who I help, how I can help them. And then we're using story highlights to use as social proof. So I have two sections here for client wins. I have a little bit of a uh, storytelling section here for story highlights called Meet Alex, some daily advice, and then YouTube, which is also super important. As far as the link in your bio, it's super, super important that whatever your link in your bio is, it should be something that sets a good first impression. A lot of business owners, what they'll do is if they have something in their bio, they'll have tons of different links going all over the place. Uh, affiliate products, different funnels, websites, trainings, guides, um, different things that they, they, they have in their link tree or, or whatever that they use nowadays. But in all actuality, you want one really good product, training, guide, whatever, that really speaks volumes of who you are, because again, you're making a first impression, right? So for me, I have a training video on YouTube, and it's one of my best videos I ever put together called the Accelerated Thesis. It's a 40 minute training breaking down exactly how I've been able to use Instagram ads to scale my business to $50,000 a month, including the same system and funnel that I've leveraged. In that video is social proof, um, a little bit of my backstory, the trials and tribulations I went through. So you're getting to really learn a lot about me all in one video, and it, it makes it very easy to funnel people to one thing rather than a ton of different things, okay? So first things first, before you can even run any ads, make sure your profile is well optimized. It goes without saying, a good optimized profile will convert people uh, way more. Next up is actually running the ads itself, right? So I've highlighted the sections in when we are running ads. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is we wanna run profile visit ads, aka boost ads to your profile. And this is so important because nowadays, many people run ads to VSLs, webinars, opt-in pages. These are all advertising strategies that do two things that we don't like. One, it takes people off the app, right? So it's a lot harder and it costs way more to convert someone and take them off the app of Instagram into your landing page, website, whatever. And the second thing it does is oftentimes those type of marketing strategies is trying to force someone, a complete stranger to pull out their credit card for the first time seeing it. What we're gonna do, like I mentioned a few moments ago, is we're gonna actually turn our profile, our Instagram profile into a funnel. This is where we're gonna be telling people, hey, give me a follow on Instagram, land on my page and watch some of my content and learn more about what I have to do. It's a much more affordable cost per acquisition. And we're gonna simply boost a video ad that has good copy and messaging in it that speaks directly to our target audience and say, hey, if you're struggling with this pain point and you wanna overcome this, give me a follow, scroll through my content, I'll teach you how to. Okay, we're going to be using these are these ads to turn your profile into a funnel, like I mentioned, and then you're going to be leveraging proper copy and messaging. And that's how we're going to be able to attract our ideal customer 80% of the time. So people say to me, Alex, how do we actually get people to follow us in the ad itself, you're going to be telling people, hey, give me a follow if you're struggling with this issue, and you want to overcome this pain point. And the ad KPI or the what we're going to be leveraging for the ad there is how many people that land on our profile actually turn into a, a, a follower, which is a really cool metric that we like to track. And what you'll see is that over time, you're going to get a lot of more, uh, you're going to get ton, a ton more uh, reach on your profile, a ton more people actually learning about what you do and, and visiting your page to see the content that you upload. And you're basically educating your audience before you ask them to, to buy a single thing from you. And this is our form of, uh, of marketing because we're educating our audience, we're informing our audience before we ask anything, we're leading with value which in today's market space isn't as common as you'd, you'd think, or at least you would hope. 
So because we're leading with value and we're saying, hey, just learn about what we got to, we got going on over here and you can decide for yourself if it's something of value to you. Because we're giving people the opportunity to choose and because we're pre presenting so much great upfront value, oftentimes people come through, learn from our profile and start to be interested in what we have to sell. It, it's following this, this, this advertising strategy follows the law of reciprocity, where instead of asking for your, 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 your purchase, we're going to give you so much value up front that now you say to yourself, man, I got to pay this guy or girl because they've given me so much value up to this point. Okay. So running these ads, aren't that hard. You probably have seen a ton of these profile visit ads, but by now, I mean, they're starting to become more and more of a popular advertising strategy. This is not where you make most of your money. This is actually just one piece of the puzzle where we make most of our monies, the middle of funnel. And this is how we actually convert someone that follows us from one of these ads into an actual buying customer, because getting someone to follow you, it's, it's a pretty cheap acquisition cost because it's not that hard to do where it becomes tedious. And this is where most people pay to work with us is learning how to implement the middle funnel that helps you convert those followers into paying customers. So first things first, the easiest thing to do is you need to post short form content and fill your profile with value and personalization. What does that mean, Alex? Well, one, you need to be, understand what your target audience faces on a day to day, the biggest pain points that it stopped them from getting where they want to get to. And you want to address that in your content, right? You want to make some videos talking about uh, whatever problems that they have and addressing them and showing your, your authority and expertise. But you don't want to just be an encyclopedia all day long answering how to questions. You also want to personalize your personal brand, right? By sharing um, behind the scenes, lifestyle content, your goals and aspirations, uh, the mistakes and trials and tribulations you've gone through to get to where you are now. You want to show that you are a real life human being, not just another marketer on Instagram, but someone that has a true brand. And this is the biggest thing that helps us sell people is because at the end of the day, no one is really looking to invest into fitness coaching, career coaching, uh, any type of coaching whatsoever with a complete stranger that they don't feel like they could connect with. Most people want to invest into people that they idolize, that they look up to, that they're inspired by, that they feel there's, there's a personalized connection. So the middle of funnel is really there to build value, trust, educate your audience. And educating your audience is so underrated, but so important. Because we've done such a good job providing so much value on the front end in our middle funnel, it's allowed us to en en enroll clients into our program uh, that become they get such great results within like the first 30 days because oftentimes they already have the ball rolling. They're already well educated on the strategies we teach. They already have a good understanding and, and good mindset. Now from from you know the moment they enroll with us, it's just about like tweaking and adjusting a few things here and there to get them, you know, a two, three, four, five, six X increase into their monthly revenue within the first 30 days. And and one of the best ways to do that is number two here, which is long form content with YouTube right? YouTube works really, really well. We make most of our money from YouTube, believe it or not. And people will look at your YouTube views, engagement and all that stuff and think, oh, if you're not at, you know, if you don't have 10,000 followers averaging a certain amount of views and, and likes on your videos, it's probably not worth doing YouTube. Completely wrong. Like YouTube for business owners isn't designed to be some type of vanity metric platform where you're trying to get as much engagement and blah, blah, blah. YouTube is designed to be a sales asset for a lot of online business owners. Because whether you're getting a ton of views or not, it, it all comes down to educating your audience. And if the right people see it, they're going to convert nine times out of 10. Because someone watching a long piece of content that's 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes long, they're going to be more and more inundated with your brand, your messaging, your thought process, your mindset. And then, of course, to, to actually go back to running ads, retargeting ads is, is super powerful, right? So retargeting ads do two things. One, they're designed in a way to get inbound conversations and leads. By the way, I have trainings on my YouTube channel how on how to launch your first profile visit ad and also how to launch retargeting ads. Um, but they do two things, right? So they keep you top of mind. Whether someone engages or engages with your retargeting ad or not is not so much the 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 biggest thing in the world because oftentimes just by staying in front of your audience, just like email marketing or SMS marketing, staying top of mind keeps people in your rear view and keeps people always thinking about you and potentially coming back around. And then the second thing, which is the cherry on top of retargeting ads is that they're designed to get an inbound conversation where someone will look at your retargeting ad and say, Hey, I'm interested. Um, can you send me more info on this? And this is how you generate inbound leads that tend to be high intent because they're seeing an ad, they're messaging you on that ad and they're nine times out of 10 more likely to conversate with you. 
And speaking of conversations, that's where we drive a lot of our sales, right? Is bottom of funnel, people have seen our short form content, they've seen a few different ads, they've seen maybe one YouTube video. And at this point now, our job is to message them in the, the DMs and offer them a time to speak with us on a calendar call. We call them calendar call, but on an appointment, um, a scheduled time on the phone, right? Normally a Zoom meeting. So what we wanna do with that, those conversations is we wanna build rapport, which is so important, right? Connecting and talking back with them, getting a good understanding of where they are now and what's stopping them from getting where they need to get to. But we also use this to qualify leads as well. We don't want just anyone getting on the phone with us. We wanna make sure our prospects have some type of money, they have some type of clarity on their offer and who they are and who they wanna work with. So that way we're not getting on the phone with, with a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing and don't have money. All right. And then to kind of put a, a bow on everything here is the IG ads, which is the advanced advertising strategy that we run. So this is very, very powerful. The great thing about this type of ad strategy, which is the cold inbound DM ads, is that it allows us to build a pool of inbound leads interested in our offer. And why that's so interesting and, and why that's so good is because up to this point, we've been working on getting leads to follow us, learn about our content. And normally when what this happens is, is that it's a longer sales cycle, right? Because having someone watch some short form content, some uh, a little bit of long form, and then just seeing your profile from day to day, seeing your IG stories, there's a shorter, there's a longer sales cycle in this process, which is a fine. Those become really good high paying clients in, at the end of the day. But we can't rely on just this alone. At least we don't want to rely on this alone. We also want to get some eat, like some shorter so, shorter sales through the door. Meaning, someone sees us on Monday and by Wednesday they're paying us. And to do that, one of the best ways to do that is launching cold inbound DM ads. These are ads that you you create and you launch them to a broad audience out there on the market space rather than just your initial followers. Because just to backtrack a little bit, when we run retargeting ads, we're retargeting our existing followers and people that we've messaged. So. If you don't have a ton of followers or haven't been messaging a lot of people, there's only there's a, there's a cap on how many people will see your ad with this one. With the code inbound DM ad, there's no cap, right? Because you're just launching this to the market space of millions of people on Instagram every day with high intent messaging, right? So high intent messaging saying, if this is you, you finally want to make a change and you're tired of where you are now and you're ready to see change, message me and we can put together a roadmap or game plan on how to solve this right now. So these are going to be higher intent leads. But the caveat, though, is that they are oftentimes um, colder because they, they, they are just, they don't even, a lot of the times these people don't follow you, right? Because you're just launching this ad to them. So they're going to see the ad and swipe up or message you on it. But they haven't seen any of your content. They haven't seen any of your short or long form content. They don't even follow you. So oftentimes these are colder leads, right? Hence the name cold inbound DM ad leads. So you're going to need to warm them up more. Um, oftentimes these people are also searching for other competitors in the space and seeing and they're kind of window shopping right because that's how instagram determines who to show the ad to they're going to find people that are also engaging with similar ads so now you're also battling with other people in your space that are running similar ads a lot of the times because that's how they determine someone that's likely to swipe up on said ad hopefully that makes sense um but the great thing about this is it leads to a shorter sales cycle. So if you do a good job with sales, um, engaging with leads and really providing a no brainer offer where someone has to say, well, damn, I, I got I got it. I guess I should enroll with these people because their offer is so great. Then you can convert these people 50% of the time. Now, one of the ways we help kind of shorten that sales cycle is, is pre call before the actual zoom meeting. What we'd like to do is send a, a every single lead a piece of long form content before the call to get them more warmed up and familiar with our offer. So the piece of content is normally on a YouTube page, uh, our YouTube channel. I just send them a, a, a video. Hey, give this video a watch before you get on the phone with us. And it breaks down our offer in more detail, case studies. It tackles a lot of common objections or concerns. And by the time the person gets on the phone with us, they've kind of already spent maybe a day or two digesting our offer, who we are, really sitting and thinking. So by the time they get on the phone, nine times out of 10, as long as they have money, they're going to enroll with us. Right? If they can comfortably invest with our program, they're going to enroll pretty much every single time. So that is kind of the the process here. As you can see, you know, Instagram ads play a, a a big pivotal role in success and growth over time, but there's a few different holes throughout this system that you need to plug in and play to make sure the entire funnel works really smooth. Um, and if you are someone that needs help with that, you're serious about growing your online coaching business or agency, and you want a mentor to kind of walk you through the ropes and not have to leap over pothole after pothole, uh, feel free to 
click the link down below in the description of this video. Book a time with our team. Um, be fully aware that we're going to pitch you on a four-figure offer. So if you're not someone that has money right now to spare, don't book that time. Go ahead on my Instagram page, learn through our system, learn through our strategy, learn through our YouTube channel, come back around when you have money to comfortably invest. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed and uh, wishing you guys all the best of luck this year with the success of your business. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next video.